Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Clash of Combat podcast where today we have two-time All-American Dean Hamidi. Guys, he's only 19 years old. This is crazy. But this episode is sponsored by Dopa Bands. Crosby, he's just getting shots in here. I don't know what he's doing with this, the yellow band. <laughs> These are great. But if you guys would like to get your own dope bands, visit the link in the description below. Let's get into the pot. When I first got in, um, I think Rita wrote me out for an hour. That was a culture shock, I guess. He had my foot up, so I put my laces on the ground and he pulled my heel. Oh. So my heel touched the mat and like, made a loud pop and he like stopped for a second and was like, you all right? And then like I couldn't get up. How much money do you think you've spent on shoes? Probably above 30,000. What? What, <laughs> dude? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Clash of Combat. Today, we are joined here with Dean Hamidi. How's it going? Pretty or, good. Hold on. First question. <laughs> Hamidi or Hamidi? It's Hamidi. It is Hamidi? Yeah, I, okay. Over the, over the years, I just kind of stopped correcting people because they, they come up to me and ask me, and then they'd say Hamidi right after. I'd be like, all right, dude. Like, yeah. You can say it however you want. Sure. So, yeah. yeah. No, I get it. We, well, everybody says Hamidi, I feel like. Like, everybody I've heard has said Hamidi. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I mean, I, I don't even know why, you know. <laughs> I always try to just say, like, ham, 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 but, sure. you know, over the lines, I was just like, all right, I'm kind of done with it. So, yeah. makes sense. Well, the biggest question that uh, Austin Gomez had for you <laughs> <laughs> was, uh, what type of flowers did you get your Duh. girl? <laughs> yeah, what's Duh. this about? <laughs> Come on. This guy keeps asking that question over and over again. Um, I got roses and lilies. I thought it was nice. So. Yeah. That's what I got. So I mean, you, you, you actually got her like nice flowers. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, what's his deal? Yeah. What's the deal with that? I don't know. He likes to he likes to poke fun at me. Oh, uh, chirps you. Know, kind of how we are. We chirp each other, but that makes yeah. sense. He's got he's like two and zero against me though. I haven't got him back. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll get him back eventually. Just I'll beat him up in the room or something. Him. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever wrestle him? Uh, a couple times. I'm, I'm I'm a lot bigger than him, so yeah. And I like scramble around a little bit too much with him, and yeah, you know, a little mm -hmm. bit dangerous positions he doesn't like, so yeah. I'm not gonna lie, seeing you in person compared to like watching you at nationals and stuff, you're like way bigger than I like, thought you were. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Yeah, Thank he's you. huge. <laughs> Sleeper build. But, but, like, uh, do, you, do you cut any weight? Uh, not a lot. No. Yeah. I woke up the last day of nationals and I was like two pounds underweight. What? So oh, I had that's like a nice. full breakfast and yeah, I was like in line drinking Gatorade. Wow. Yeah. That had to be so nice. Yeah, it was so nice. I didn't have to worry about it at all, but it's also like. The beginning of the year is a little rough, you know, just getting back into yeah. it. Like, but as I get used to it, it's kind of just like a breeze. It's for so sure. easy. Yeah. What's next for you here? Your biggest thing? Uh, I don't know. I was I was thinking about doing U twenties, but I also like like to think. You're nineteen. I'm nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. the heck? Yeah. So I was thinking about doing that, but you know, I think about the nationals a lot. You know, like my main goal is to win nationals while mm. I'm here. So it's like, it's kind of like a. I like to do this, but I like to do that too. But I talked, I talked to my coaches about it, and they're like, you can try and do uh, U20s if you want to, but we also want you to kind of lock in on all your, like, collegiate wrestling sure. mistakes and try to fix those. So, you know, I'm kind of going back and forth with it. I yeah. don't really know. But, yeah, so maybe U20s. Yeah. What are you training right now? Uh, just I go back and look at my matches, and I go into practice and just focus on one single area that I think I can do better in, and mm -hmm. I just do that for like an hour at a time. But what are your you know, practices looking like? Was it like coach led or? Uh, do we, it's kind of like open mat. So okay. we just go in there and work with them what we want to, and you know we have the coaches there to help us obviously. Yeah. But yeah, we just kind of go in there and work on everything. That's one thing for like our wrestling. Like every time it comes to this part of the year, we're always like, oh, we're training for U twenties or U twenty threes. But I, I almost always say like, why do we stop training folk style when it's like it's we're here to wrestle in college yeah. at folk style for the national title, like national championship. Yeah. So it's like, it's weird to think about. And at the end of the day, like, do we like having a, someone from our team win a position on the world team trials and freestyle for us? is like different <laughs> yeah. um but no i like that kind of getting in the room and training that one position yeah. i like that yeah because you know it's it's like a hair mistake you can make that makes such a big difference and you know with, especially with me i go out there all funky and stuff yeah and i can make mistakes here and there but i'm really trying to hone in on like certain positions i can get better in. okay what do you what do you take away from this year's performance for you uh i mean it was good i, I big times was a big big goal of mine so that was a that was a great part of the season. But, you know, like I'm saying, those, like, little mistakes that I make uh, mm -hmm. in my matches is really what I take away from it. You know, you, you kind of look at the bad more, when, yeah. when, like, when you're done with it. So, you know, just trying to fix everything that I can to be better for next season. 
Yeah. Our, uh, our heavyweight had a question for you. <laughs> and it was, uh, so you are so much better than uh, Miles Amin, but you just can't, like. Yeah, I know. I know. That's a tough one for me. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. I go into it, like, every time, like, oh, okay, I'm going to get him this time. And then he's, like, he's really good at staying away. Yeah. And I, I like to pressure a lot. So, like, when I make that one little mistake, he always gets one take. Yeah. And then that's how the match goes. And then he's really good at staying away. So yeah. I don't score any points. But, you know, he's, he's really solid. He's really solid. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he's just one of those guys that it's just like, like, is it like, do you think it's a mental aspect as part of it too? Uh, not really, you know. I'm, I, I don't really think about matches too much before I go into them. It's, I think it's just he's really good in positions that I'm not. For sure. And that's what I'm trying to, to fix. Yeah. What is, what is your mentality going into matches? Just to have fun, honestly. Like, yeah. I don't go out there like, oh, I need to win this, I need to win that. I just go out there, and I think it's such a great opportunity that I have to wrestle here and it's just have, fun for me. Have you always had that mindset throughout high school? And uh, when, I was, when I was in high school, it was a little different. You know, I was like, I have to win, I have to win. Sure. Or else I'm, my dad's going to be mad, everyone's going to be mad at me. But, you know, I kind of learned how to, like, just look at the good and, like, I'm here and it's something I love to do. So, so it yeah. made you better kind of not focusing on the wins and losses. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Just kind of having fun with everything, you know, with training and uh, matches. And I just like the environment of wrestling, you know. It's okay. awesome. We were looking up your high school stats last night. <laughs> Three-time state champ. Yeah. And you had – ah, what was your – It was you had a lot of wins. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Like, did you have, like, over 150 wins? Uh, I don't know because our last season was canceled. Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it, might, it was close to 100 for sure. Okay. I think, like, my last match might have been, like, 105 or something. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. so actually, did you – so you didn't wrestle too many matches, I feel like, in those three years. Uh, I wrestled, like, a good amount. I think it was, like, 45 – like a year? They, okay. they have 45 a year, 50 oh, a year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But that, that last season getting canceled kind of messed everything up. Yeah. So yeah. you didn't get any wrestling your senior year? We had a month season. So <laughs> I wrestled like three That's times. That's terrible. With no state. With no state. Well, they, they did a state, but it wasn't like through the like IHSA. Uh, it was through like a different uh, like company, I guess, or promotion. Okay. And then like I didn't, I didn't go. I came here. Yeah. So. What was your thoughts on coming to Wisconsin? What was that kind of first thing that made you consider it? Um, just the, like, community, the, like the teammates and the coaches, you know, we all really have a great bond here. And that's something I noticed right from the beginning, like, when I took my visits. Well, mm-hmm. I only took two visits. But when I took my visit here, I, like, felt like home. That was my big thing on my visits. I was like, I want to go somewhere that feels like home. And when I came here, I kind of already knew everyone because I've been to camps and stuff. Sure. So, um, just meeting everyone for like the first time, like literally everyone, not just Trent here, or Garrett here, but mm. they all kind of felt like they had a bond and it, it uh, felt like the right place to be. And then the coaches are awesome. Yeah, coaches, sure. Yeah. Were there any other options for you? Uh, my visits were Illinois here, Northwestern, Arizona State, and Oklahoma State, but I canceled uh, after here. So you're, you're school smart, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was it AC, ACT score? I didn't have to take it. Oh, cause, oh yeah, cause yeah, of COVID. Okay. No, no. Oh, so that was nice. Yeah. Oh wow. I couldn't find anywhere to take it, so yeah. they're just like, you know what, just don't take it. Nah, so, I wouldn't take yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> like it's oh. painful, so I was like, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. It was Northwestern cool to see? Northwestern was cool. Yeah, but I've I've been there. I mean, I live forty five minutes away. Did you want to stay close to home when you're thinking yeah. about colleges? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's the main reason? Just family. Family. Uh, I wanted to make sure, like, my family could come up and watch matches mm. when they wanted to. So yeah. it's not, like, a plane right away either. So, like, if anything bad happens, they could just come up right yeah. away. So, yeah. How far is the drive for them here? Two hours, two and a half hours. Oh, so that's not bad at all. Not far. Not far. It's good. Would you ever think about leaving Wisconsin ever? <laughs> oh, no. No, <laughs> no. No. No, I love it here. It's awesome. That's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So are you, like, spreading out your school over five years? Uh, I don't know. I kind of... Yeah, I, I really don't know. Um, uh, what, what am I, trying? I haven't redshirted, obviously. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I but you had that COVID kinda, year, right? No, no. Wait, you didn't have the freshman? Co- oh, you're no. my age. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I was thinking he's your age. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm like 21. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I get oh, it. Shoot. So I kind of just go with the flow. Yeah. But, yeah. But. So you only have four years then? Mm-hmm. As of right now. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. What's your, like, wrestling goal if you could accomplish that one thing like is there a certain thing you're training for at the end of the day like where do you see yourself after here uh 
Well, I want to li- win the Olympics, obviously. I think that's every kid's goal. That's sure. Like a generic one. But, yeah, Olympics has always been a big one for me. So, I, I mean, I'll have so much time after I'm done here, too. Like, I'll only be... I'll only be 21 when I graduate. That's wow. crazy. Yeah, if I if I don't take another year, but I'll only be 21 when I graduate, so I'll have so much time to work towards that goal. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, Olympics. That's the biggest the thing. Long term goal. Yeah. I like it. Do you have any plans uh, after college, not in wrestling, like maybe oh. MMA, WWE? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's it's it seems so far away. Like, yeah. Talking about sure. it, but I mean, it's only two years, and I've already been two years, and it feels like it's gone by. Like it's yeah. Like, so. Not really. I'm kind of just like an in the moment yeah. type of guy. I don't really think about too far down the line, but maybe MMA. I yeah. like MMA. Really? Yeah, yeah, I do. My mom would kill me, but <laughs> <laughs> I do love MMA. Yeah. That'd be awesome. What, what I think about is like I don't, th- I wouldn't do MMA, but like I want to learn like jujitsu. Yeah, yeah. Like that's it's so close to wrestling, and the only thing that's like really different, of course, is scoring, but like submissions. I feel like that'd be so cool to learn. Yeah, yeah. A couple of our guys always try to roll with me in jujitsu in the room. Yeah. So is this All dude right. right here? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Get as much, Who wins there? Me. No. no. I'm okay. way too well, big for him. I'm yeah, way no, too he big is, for him. He is, he is pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of face-offs, we, uh, you, you got to pick. One of the three of us said that uh, they could um, really push you in a match and probably beat you. <laughs> Who would what you say that is? No. <laughs> you? How, how fast or do you think either you would pin him or he would pin him? He's a true freshman. <laughs> how, how big is he? Huge. <laughs> One sixty-five. Oh man. He had some. He had some fighting words coming up. Yeah, here. he did have some fighting yeah, words. Fighting He's words. quiet now. He's quiet now. <laughs> fighting words. He said I look bigger than me. That's why. Ah. Uh, no. You, you probably get me, huh? Twenty seconds, huh? No. 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 no he's We're just playing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What's like? You have any like? Like, just super funky, like, highlight reels from high school. Mm, oh, I bet, yeah. Like, I, was a little, I was a little spazzy in high school. I'm not really? Gonna lie. Yeah. I, like, I do all that stuff now, yeah. but I was worse in high school. I'd be, like, <laughs> just jittering out there. I'd be looking like I'm dancing out there, but. You're, like, that kid that, like, nobody wanted to I look back yeah. on my yeah. high school match, so I'm like, no, dude, no, 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 no. I look so spazzy. Wait, were you the kid in, like, youth who had, like, that, the headgear, like, oh, the no, thing on no, the front no. of the head? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Because those kids were good. I'd, I'd, I'd have to get roasted if they did that. <laughs> My teammates would dig into me for that. But oh yeah. No, nah, I was a little, I was a little spazzy though. Okay. But high, like super funky ones. Not probably no, not really. Kind of like the same stuff. Yeah. Same ankle putting. Yeah. 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 Do you have a lot of success in youth at all, or like was it just gradual? Um, I guess yeah. I won three state championships when I was little. I won Tulsa. I got OW at Tulsa. Um. Folks, folk season, postseason nationals. Sure. Yeah, just you know, like the regular tournaments. Yeah. yeah. Just the regular national youth yeah. tournaments. Yeah. Tulsa really. was tough. Though. <laughs> Tulsa was tough. We always drove there too. Okay. So it was like ten hours. Oh, geez. So, so it like puts there. the pressure. Like you gotta do well. Yeah. yeah. I I could I hated handling that pressure. Even two hours away to like yeah. Iowa, it was always like, oh my gosh, my dad and like grandpa <laughs> drive yeah. me. I'm like, I hope I do well. Then. Preseason nationals is always the worst one for me. Why is that? I don't know. They, uh, if you lost, it was they made it like one one one. Oh, the on the yeah, back. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. And that's kind of like I try to keep my cardio up so I can be like, yeah. all right, I'll retire them out at the end and win. That makes but sense. when they when I lost in the front side, the back side, would be yeah, like, it's like not one even a match. And I'd be like, it's like one period. It's like, yeah. we ain't gonna be done. I'd be like, all right. So, speaking of rules and stuff, what do you think about the new proposed wrestling oh, rules? The three point the riding time makes the riding time. Oh, oh, sure, sure. Sure. so bad. Yeah. Well, I think. I always thought when I was little, I was like, every minute should be a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. And I, a couple of my matches, I had like five minutes yeah. of riding time this that year. That would change so much. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I, I really like the three-point takedown. The three-point would be cool. It just makes sense. Yeah, and then they're doing the two, three, four for back points now. Two, two three, four? four? Yeah. So like, for for strikes, swipes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How does that work? Like it's two like swipes is two. One, two, yeah, and two two then one, two, three, three. Two, three yeah. One, two, three, four. four. Not for oh. one, though, just two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I like that. I mean, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. That would be nice. But, uh, riding time, though. I got to keep that. I got to yeah. keep the riding time. Except Gomez said the complete opposite. Yeah. Gomez did? Yeah. He don't want to get off bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, he basically yeah, said that. Gomez don't want to get off bottom. He'll lay down. And he doesn't want to turn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He'll He's, just stay down there. He said he just likes takedowns. <laughs> yeah. He only likes takedowns, but it's mm, funny. No. Riding was a big thing that I tried to work on this year, so okay. that's why I'm kind of adamant on the riding. 
same time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, at what point do we just switch to freestyle? Yeah, it's getting close, honestly. Yeah. It's getting close. I would be, I would be fine with it. I like staying on my feet too, but yeah, like I said, just just working on it so much this year with everyone, I was like, come on, man, like you gotta keep the right time. Yeah. Sure. I worked so hard this year. I'm doing this. Yeah. <laughs> on, please. I mean, that, that's just. I just can't fathom, like, rule changes in folk style. Because I remember some ch- uh, years for, like, Freestyle and Greco, yeah. each week they changed one thing. It, for, mm-hmm. it was, like, three years ago or four, something like that. And it was, like, each week they changed a the rule. And it was, like, what the heck? So it was, like, used to it. But now it's, like, folk style. People are going to be yelling three. Yeah, yeah I saw a uh, thing on Instagram with that, how weird that's going to sound <laughs> yeah. for people to start yelling three. But. I saw a tweet that was, like, I'm still saying two. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to say three. I'm, just, I'm keeping it on Imagine two. 50 years from now, you're saying two, and the kids are like, what? It's what three yeah, points. What <laughs> that's going to be crazy. That's weird. Yeah. That's nuts. Oh, man. So, uh, in Madison, big party time. How do, how, how, how do you <laughs> go about that? Oh, I don't. I'm 19. True, true. That's yeah, fair. Yeah, I keep to myself. I'm a responsible dad now. I have a dog. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Anything. What type yeah. of dog is it? Bully. She's a bully. XL. Oh. Yeah. She's, she's going to be big. She's oh, been man. a pain. She's been a pain lately, dude. Why is that? Dude, peeing all over. <laughs> Did you have dogs growing up? Yeah. I have three dogs right now at home. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. But Wait, is your dog here right now? No, I I took her. Oh, I okay. Because mm-hmm. she'd be in her cage just screaming. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. So I was like, oh. You gotta, you gotta stay yeah. out. Dude, that's gotta be hard. You're on the, what, fourth, fourth floor? floor? Yeah. I move into the house Gomez is, though, in a couple of weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. And yeah, they have, like, a fence in the backyard, so yeah. it'll be a lot that's easier. Nice. And she goes back to uh, Illinois this weekend. Oh, nice. So, nice. Yeah. But that's that's been a new adjustment, for sure. You want to get more dogs? No. Not after that one. Really? Not after <laughs> the new one, no. How long have you had this one? Uh, two weeks. And you already don't want more? I mean... Is she, she is young. She's only oh, seven yeah. weeks, eight weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, she kind of doesn't know anything. Sure. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of just like putting her up here and being like, all right, stay by yourself. <laughs> Treating her as a house cat. Just putting like yeah. a baby on the floor yeah, and being yeah, like, yeah. all right, dude, you, you stay over there. Don't do anything bad. Oh, God. Well, how'd you get to the decision to get a dog? I've been thinking about it for a while. And I knew I was moving in the house and I was like, uh, I could definitely do it there. Sure. I was like, I'll, if I have her here, it'll only be for a little bit like it is. So. It's like, all right, I guess I can get a little buddy. Yeah, like that's a good point. Running around. Yeah. That's sick. So when you, when you got invited to the All-Star Classic, like, how was that? And then you wrestled Keegan. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. It was a cool experience, yeah, for sure. absolutely. Just going down there, it was a great event. Uh, seeing all the good wrestling, you know. Yeah. A bunch of great matches. Sure. So just watching it from, like, a fan's per- perspective yeah. was awesome. Yeah. No, we, we, we thought that was pretty the cool. The match event. itself, but. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and you have a lot in common in that way. Yeah. Yeah. Keegan, uh, Keegan pinned me at state. <laughs> Dude, I almost like broke my ankle though, in, like the first fifteen seconds. What? Wait, really? Wow. Yeah. So oh. like I, when I defend a shot, I put my laces to the ground. Okay. And he had my foot up, so I put my laces on the ground, and he pulled my heel. Oh. So like, my heel touched the mat, and like made a loud pop, and he like stopped for a second, and was like, "You all right?" And then like I couldn't get up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dang. So I was kind of just like hobbling on one foot the whole time. Wow. Yeah. That's is he is he is he like a different type of feel? Because I didn't wrestle him very long. <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah, yeah. He's. I mean, he's solid too. He's, obviously, he's so good. Yeah. He's super good. Yeah. But he is he is a, a funky feel. You know, the scramble, yeah. the scrambling and stuff is super elite. Uh, and I think my scrambling is good. But when I wrestled him, I was like, wow. Yeah. Scrambling super good for sure. Yeah. Did you wrestle Carr this year? Yeah, first match. First uh, First match of the year? Yep. yep. First little duel quad. Mm. Yeah. So wrestling both of them, did you, like, have the idea of who was going to win when they were going to collide? Carr's so explosive. I thought he was going to win. Yeah. Just because, like, he's so explosive on his, like, doubles. And I know, like, if Keegan wants to scramble with you, obviously, so if you pick him up and put him down. Yeah. I was thinking maybe Carr could with the doubles, but, you know, Keegan made those adjustments in those two matches and got done. Yeah. When, when you go out against, like, those guys, do you think, like, every time, like, you know you can win? I mean, I, I kind of always think I can yeah. win. You know, I, I'm not going to go out there and be like, oh, man, I'm going to lose this match. Like, yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, so I go out there. And <laughs> I always kind of like to pump myself up and stuff. But this year, like, wrestling the top guys, I noticed I'd, like, shut myself down a little bit mm. and really try to be patient with everything. And that's something I tried to fix towards the end of the year, like, especially around, like, Big Tens and Nationals yeah. time. Yeah, okay. But – yeah, like wrestling car, I was super like um, patient with everything. Like I was waiting too long and not really trying to get to his legs yeah. at all. And then 
he got me in like the last minute or so. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, dude, you were in the meat grinder. Dude, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we were in the line at um, at NCA's, like going for the All American walk. Yeah. Someone came up to Griffith and was like. Oh, there's there's like so many good people in his town. He's like, yeah, I know it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, just it sucks. To be he's, like, this yeah. is, he's like, this is such a uh, good lineup here, and he's like, dude, it's awful. I mean, literally all eight All Americans were good enough to be national champs. Yeah, yeah. I wrestled the top five guys in like, or the top three guys in like the first two months of the season. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I wrestled Car Key, and it's and probably like a good thing to Monday. have, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I mean, it's what you want. Yeah, you don't want to wrestle. People that are bad, and then at the end of season, you wrestle all the good ones. Yeah. And then you're like, whoa. <laughs> Did you see uh, Griffith is in the transfer portal? Yeah. Yeah. I thought he retired. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. He guess, was like crying after his, or yeah. his like post match sure. interview. Yeah. I don't. Where do you think he's going? I'd like to say Rutgers. Really? Like that's, what, that's one of them that I've been okay. talking about, you know. Yeah. Home state. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. State, but... Is Rutgers Ivy League? Big time. Like yeah, well, like what's Ivy League? Ivy, bro, what? <laughs> like, Ivy League like, is like the no, smart school. Like is Ivy League? Like is Ivy he said like, Ivy League? Ivy Stanford's like Ivy League, right? Yeah, but Stanford's like in like isn't it like? In, wait, but it's in Pack. Yeah, Pac. isn't Cornell? Technically it's like Ivy towards League? California, but uh, there's like Harvard, and then there's Harvard, like um, Penn. They're Cornell? all in the same area. Cornell. No, they're not in the same area. But they're not in the same conference either. The Ivy League is different than conference. It's just like a name. Yeah. Oh. You can see he didn't go to ba- he didn't go to Madison for school. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, all online. Yeah, that's true. How how was college for you overall with school and maintaining wrestling? Not too bad. Uh, like the online classes kind of kind of help with like yeah. NCs and stuff. So like towards NCAs, I like didn't have any assignments, and okay. I only go to class twice a week because I have two in person, two online. So what do you major in? Health promotion, health equity. What? What's, what is that? I just started. <laughs> oh, People ask okay. me, and I'm like, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm like one class deep. So I don't really, I don't really know right now. But okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not too bad if you kind of just lock in for like a couple hours. Mm, sure. Yeah. For, and all my assignments are due on Sundays. Yeah. So it's just like, all right, I can do it at the beginning of the week and then just focus on wrestling for the rest of the week. Yeah. Time. I like that. Yeah. Was it hard navigating around campus when you first got here? Because this place, compared to our school, it's huge. It's yeah, like it's a huge. it's like a country. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other day, I had like thirty-five thousand steps. What? Sure. What? That's that's oh, like more I wear than... the I have the ring. It, oh the yeah, track, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wear it during I, when I wrestle too. I'm all oh really? Jumpy and stuff. I talked with someone in the hot tub at regionals before regionals, who actually was in my weight. He uses those. So what do yeah. you? It, like tracks your about sleep, it. like your readiness, your blood oxygen levels. Uh, your steps, your like activity, your calorie burn. How long have you been using it? About three weeks. Oh, oh, so it's pretty new. Yeah, yeah. It's like a Fitbit. It is. Yeah. Like a yeah. yeah. I mean, they're pretty. It's like a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it tracks so much though. It's, it does. Some yeah. really. I was thinking about getting one of those. Yeah, they're nice. They're nice. Kind of just chills out my finger though. Yeah. It's, it's cool. But yeah, I got here early for the school, so I got here in June. Oh. Yeah. Because it was like the COVID year, so I left to come here. I yeah. came here like two weeks after I graduated. Three weeks Where do you live during that time? I lived at the dorms. In the summer? Mm-hmm. Oh. So the dorms from June to all the way to I was done with my freshman year. Oh, and wow. It was kind of easy to like walk around and stuff because there wasn't much to do in the dorms. So I just go on walks and kind of figure out where all the buildings were. So yeah. I, I, when school started, I already knew. Oh, really? I started been here for two months. Well, that's nice. Yeah. So do it wasn't too bad. Do you hang out with like anyone else on campus like that's not like a wrestler at all? Uh... Not really. Yeah. Not really, no. We kind of just keep to ourselves around here. Yeah. Yeah. I, f- I feel, I agree. Yeah. Same way. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of just figured, I mean, this school is like just completely different than ours. Like even just seeing people walking around, dude. <laughs> They're so, so, we were like driving up. We we're like, so do you think you're smarter than anyone here walking? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, you know. Yeah. I mean, probably not, but. <laughs> Maybe. 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 Never know. So when did you realize, like, in wrestling that you could, like, take it somewhere? Um, I mean, I guess maybe from an early age. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I was, was kind of disciplined with it. So probably going into high school. Going yeah. into high school, I was like, all right, like, we'll get serious. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of a hard question to say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been wrestling for so long. It's kind of hard to pinpoint, like, when I was like, all right, this is what I'm going to do for sure. Yeah. Was there ever a point where you, like, were thinking, like, you don't want to do it? 
Never. Never. No doubts? No doubts. No doubts. Do you ever get, like, did, are your parents, like, big pushers, or is that anyone, like, kind of egging you on? To... My, my dad was a great motivator when, sure. I, was, when I was little, uh, and then, like, my kids called coaches. Um, mm-hmm. Like, Izzy, you know Izzy? Yep. Izzy's brother and his dad. He was, they okay. were my kids club coaches, and they were always super great on working with me and stuff, so yeah. just talking to me and keeping me, keeping me focused, so. Yeah, probably from a young age, I'd say. Yeah. But. Did you ever go to Gomez Academy? Yeah, a couple of times. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've known Austin for a, a good while. I watched him when I was in when I was in middle school. Yeah. He since was, he's like forty years old. Yeah. College. He's like fifty five. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mortgage. <laughs> oh, oh that's awesome. Yeah. Well, did your dad was he? Uh, did he ever like coach? Uh, he coaches now. He oh, really? Coaches like our high school's feeder program. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, like, he coaches our uh, kids' club. What's that called? Callen. Callen? Callen? Yeah. It's like a, I don't know. They named it. My head coach named it with my dad. Oh, really? <laughs> some Irish thing. <laughs> but. Irish? Are you Irish? No, I'm Greek and oh. Mexican. Oh, my god. You goodness. must know Constantine Papadopoulos. <laughs> 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 this dude on our team, he's like a 125-pounder. He is, he came to our school basically because he was a fan of Caden. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, so Drake Ayala and or was at a tournament that they went to yes. in uh, Eau Claire, and he went up to him and bought a, his T-shirt, <laughs> like a T-shirt. Like he probably got it for free yeah, yeah. from the university. He paid like fifty bucks for it. Well, he no, okay, Ayala's T-shirt. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yes. no, 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 <laughs> like no, the one he no, warmed no, no, up. No, 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 no. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's not the story. The story is I'm pretty sure T on our team. He asked. Drake for a shirt and I think Drake just like yeah sure you can have the shirt and then Khan bought the shirt from oh. T. <laughs> so he got him yeah and it's him. it's hanging it's, up on his yeah, wall yeah it's hanging in the wall it's like he hung it yes he hasn't washed it he hasn't washed it, <laughs> he, hasn't washed it <laughs> he probably did probably not he probably, probably not like goes up and yeah, like yeah. dude it yeah he's just a, he's an interesting yeah. kid yeah so I mean now so, we got we got some things to think about if you you if you're Greek so <laughs> 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 Yeah, you want a shirt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you bought drinks for 50 here. So. Yeah. <laughs> Are you big into, like, wrestling memorabilia or, like, just shoes in general? I have collector? a lot of shoes uh, back in Illinois. I have, like, a whole... Wrestling shoes, real shoes? Wrestling shoes. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, I have, like, what is it, like, a huge storage. Like a tote? Bed, like, yeah, there's, like, 100 pairs. Really? Oh, what? Yeah, I have what? so much. What's Are your you favorite shoes? pair? Oh, man, I have, I have so, I don't even remember. You probably have everything under the many? sun. Yeah. 100 different kinds. I have, like, yeah. Not different. I have some. Oh, sure. sure. I have some matches, but. Are most of them, like, worn? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Besides, like, a couple of them. Like, the Aggressors Legends that came out, I have those. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I have those, too, but they're worn. Yeah. yeah I never worn mine. My dad didn't let me. He's like, really? you're not wearing them. <laughs> those are I staying. Th- I thought they were going to be such a big deal. Like, only 2,000 made and all this stuff. But apparently, they printed even more. Yeah. Oh, but, really? yeah. yeah. They tricked. They tricked. They did trick us. It was we should sue Asics. Yeah. For that. Did you? Are you like a shoe company? Like our roommate has. Like, yeah. Uh, he like buy buys trades and sells shoes. Do you do that? No. So you just keep them. I just keep them. Kind of like a hoarder. Just keep <laughs> all <my> <laughs> <shoes>. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. And then my mom's super like, oh, you wore these then. You wore these then. You can't give your shoes away. I'm yeah. Like, all right. I don't know. How many shoes do you have here? I have not not as many. I, I couldn't hold them. I couldn't keep them in here. Yeah. But. In Camp Randall, I probably have seven. Jeez. Yeah. What's, like, your favorite pair you ever wear, like, in matches or practices? Freaks. Freaks? Freaks. Yeah, yeah I, I love like freaks. those. But I used to wear the Hyper Sweeps a lot. I have, like, okay. ten pairs of those. But they rip, like, so fast. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Like, they bubble up at the bottom, and then they just rip off, like, huh. two weeks, three weeks. Do your freaks, like, rip in the by the big toe? Yep, yep, they did. <laughs> Dude, that's where everybody's rips. Yeah, because they have, like, the seam right on the big toe. Yeah. So they just rip right away. Yeah. Do you like the new Scrap Lives? Because those are pretty close to freaks, I feel like. Yeah. Like the new At least the ankle kinda. support, yeah. for sure. I'm Spartan now, so I can't. Oh, uh, I forgot about I that. Was gonna <laughs> ask, I was going to ask like, um, if you would have your own, or if you would get signed by it. I mean, uh, now I you're know. signed with Spartan, so. I don't know. Maybe. Would you want your own shoe? That'd be cool. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. yeah that would be cool. Uh, I don't know what I made him look like. Maybe something weird. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, something. Something weird. Be like a little unique. Yeah. yeah. Did you have Yanni's pair yet? Trying yeah, on? I have like three pairs of Yanni. Okay, how are Spartan shoes? I, I haven't like. They're nice. They're, they're nice. Yeah, they have one like the um, aggressors. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Dakes. Those are super. Oh, okay. Super comfy. Wait, Dakes with Spartan? Yeah, he's that's like a 
Wait. Like, okay, hold on. Maybe you could shed some more shed some more light on this. But I feel like all Cornell guys, if they get signed at Spartan, is it because that's the like Spartan Yanni, RTC? Is yeah, right there? Yanni, Vito, Dake, and then Ramirez just signed to it. Oh. Okay. How did you get? Yeah. How did that opportunity come up? Um. I went to the Nationals as a senior. I know the the owner pretty well, and then he knows Bono really well too. Okay. So, just kind of talking to him at like uh, events and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But so cool. they send you a bunch of like free crap. Uh, free crap. <laughs> okay. It's probably not crap. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, not yet. Oh really? I, it was like last week though. Oh, oh this is it's brand new. Yeah. Oh, this is that recent. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Is it on socials yet? Do people know? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why have I was going to say. I feel like I have. Yeah. I, I feel like I know. saw that a long time ago. But I, I don't guess know what I know. I don't know either. So yeah. you said Dan Gable's coming out with a shoe. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see it? No, I have not seen it's it. It's like they're redoing the other one. Like the, the ones from... I have the Dan Gable Ultimate ones. Is it like those? It's like... The, they kind of look like the, tig- the European Tiger ones. Oh, okay. But they have like this like bubble on the side. Oh, yeah. I'd be interested in those. It's kind of weird. Yeah. With I, I, that's with Nike? What? Or no, it's with Asics. 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 Dude, I don't know any. <laughs> Wait, when are those coming out? Do you know? <laughs> no, I just saw oh, it on just... Instagram. Oh. And they were like roasting the bubble. They were like, dude, <laughs> what are they putting on there? <laughs> I've seen a lot of concepts with like people would have like the Starbucks, Asics, or Starbucks like Nike Inflix or something. All those custom shoes. I'd love to get myself a custom shoe. I mean, you basically are. The green Parkside shoe. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it's whatever. Shoes are shoes. Yeah, they're meant to be worn. Yeah. Definitely. How much money do you think you've spent on shoes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, throughout like all the years. Yeah. Oh man, probably. God. <laughs> probably above thirty thousand. What? What? Dude. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I've never like bought like that many myself. Yeah. My parents oh bought, sure. Bought yeah. Shoes, so I don't really know how much they yeah. were. But, like, I've been asking for, like, 12 years. So, I mean, I've had, oh, like, geez. three pairs of, four pairs of shoes Do you a have year. a picture of your tote? No. Oh. No, I don't. I'd love I to see a picture of that. But it's like a shelf, and it's just full of them. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. That I was I was awesome. thought it would be cool to have, like, a wrestling memorabilia thing, like, um, collecting, like, autographs or signatures of, yeah. like, and, like, gear and stuff. I think that'd be so cool to have, like, a room, yeah. like, a almost like a museum. But Yeah. That'd be, cool. that'd be pretty neat. Back in the room, who are like your partners you go with? Best guys to roll with. I wrestle with Reader a lot, just because you know he's super tough, yeah. super good, and you know it's a great feel. Um, Garrett Model, a fifty-seven pounder. Mm-hmm. Um, Gavin Model, just like everyone around my weight. Uh, Otto, um, Dow, I wrestle Dow. Just okay. yeah, Reader mostly though. Yeah, mostly wrestle Reader. You yeah. wrestle uh, Miker? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, here and there. You know a little bit about him. Yeah. 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 He, uh, <laughs> he beat me my freshman year. Yeah. Wait, he beat, yeah. And in high school, I think. Yeah, maybe. Because he won my state bracket my sophomore year, I think. Middleton Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hall of Famer right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have any funny stories about uh, your coaches at all? Uh, not really. Just serious ones? Just, just serious. Nah. <laughs> not even. <laughs> <laughs> They're funny. Yeah. They're funny, but. Not really, like, any, like, surprising stories. Kind of just normal coach stuff. Yeah. yeah. yeah did, did you ever have a culture shock between, like, high school wrestling and college wrestling? Was there anything right away that hit you? Uh, just get off bottom. You know, you stay, you, you get, you stay on bottom. They're going to keep you there the whole time. Like, yeah. when I first got in, um, I think Rita rolled me out for an hour. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man, can't get off bottom. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Dude. Oh, that sucks. But, yeah. That was a culture shock, I guess. Yeah. Like, I, on bottom, I was, like, never on bottom in high school. I just stand, mm. I just stand up right away, but Reader held me down for an hour. I was like, oh, damn. What'd you do to get better in bottom? Uh, I think getting rode out for an hour. I was just really? like, I'm not doing that again. Yeah. So I just was like, so right, some I'm mentality just, switch. just get up, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And kind of, like, technique here and there. Yeah. yeah. When you're doing, like, in your practices, is there, like, anything, like, you absolutely love? Like, you go groups of four live. Or you go just maybe one on one. Like, what's like your favorite? Uh, we I like long goes. Long so goes. Like, yeah, grind, ma- grind matches. Or? Yeah, oh yeah, twenty minutes probably my favorite. Twenty sure. minute grind match. Yeah, that's my favorite one. Just because I like, I think my cardio is pretty decent. So. Yeah. 
just 20 minutes, and then they break, and I'm just there, like, dancing around, rushing yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> That part's fun. Well, do you have any stories of like the hardest practices you've been a part of? Um, some of our runs have been pretty pretty tough. We had so we run to the dorms and back a couple of times, and like one of the first ones this year, we were, uh, one of the heavy weight, heavier weights was like our phono yelled at me. He was like, "If you don't make it back, and you're not, uh, if you make it back last, everyone has to go again." Oh. And then he was like four blocks behind everyone. We were like trying to push him. We were like, "Come on, like." We were literally pushing him. Like, yeah. Let's go. Jeez. And then he was like, I can't do it. And he like started walking and then and then we, we had to go again and then I had to go find him. I had to go find him. <laughs> he was he was like four blocks behind us again. I had to go run him. Back. That's that's pretty grueling. Yeah. How far of a run is that? It's two miles. Really? So down back is two miles, mm-hmm. so we had to do four. Oh man. And like everyone's like super competitive obviously. So yeah. we, were, we were like sprinting for the first one. And then the second one, everyone was a little tired. <laughs> <I bet. laughs> yeah. What do you think about the concept? Like, I've heard this just chatted around a bit. Like, um, cross country athletes, they don't wrestle to get in shape. Why should wrestlers run to get in shape? Uh, I think running is honestly kind of a mentality mm. mentality thing. Build your mentality. If you're if you're like going out there and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do so bad on this run that yeah. you're gonna do bad. Like, yeah. but if when we're running and you hit, do hit that wall and you're like, all right, I'm gonna tough it out. I think it's kind of just like that mentality that you start to build. Yeah. Like when I hit that place, then you can go further. I like that. Yeah. But it does suck though. It yeah. Does suck. Yeah. Especially like on after a long practice and you're doing a four mile run, five mile run on your knees. Mm. Tough. You guys run after practice? We run before practice. Oh, before practice. Yeah. So we would run five miles and then do like a hundred takedowns each. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, it's like, uh, man, wow. then, then, you're, then you're starting to feel it yeah. for sure. Well, our coach, so last year was his first year at Parkside. And so when he was in college, he said that they would do like these plate runs where you have a partner and you guys would run around like the whole loop of like the school. Mm-hmm. And it's like a two mile run and you you can switch with your partner holding the plate whenever you want. Mm-hmm. But then when he became coach, the like uh, I don't know the compliance people said that you can't do that anymore oh yeah because it looks like um, what's the word I don't know it's like abuse abuse I don't know yeah. <laughs> like abuse on your body <laughs> like, <laughs> just seeing guys with their shirts off just yeah. running with the plate yeah. yeah it looks like a like an army camp we've done something like that but so we have like a hill right by the stadium so we did like sled pushes we had to do med ball carries um, mm. What else? I think it was sled pushes, med ball carries, and then I think lunges was one of them. Mm. Oh, really? Up and down the hill. Do you ever work out in, like, Camp Randall? Like, the stadium? The, in the stadium, yeah. Uh, not as much. I think we're going to start doing them next year, though. Yeah. Uh, that, I always think that'd be so cool. Yeah. yeah like, working out on the football field. Yeah. Like, <sighs> yeah, that one's fun. Except, the, like, the stairs. The stairs does suck. But yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of stairs. Cool spot to do it in, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Have you gone to any games? Badger games? Yeah, a couple. Go. I mean, yeah, a lot, I'd say. I don't stay for the whole time. Yeah, though. sure. Yeah, everyone's standing. And then when you sit down, they yell at you. They're like, stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But my legs start to get tired. And then especially our games this past year, they were like mm. one touchdown. So yeah. I was yeah, like, oh, okay. True. <laughs> I'm not going to stay for the whole time to watch one touchdown. That, uh, the running back, Braylon Allen, he used to be a wrestler. Yeah. So he wrestled at Fond du Lac, right? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. so. And Keanu Benton, too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I forgot about him. He was at Janesville Craig, I think. Oh. He got, like... Wait, the heavyweight? Yes. What? He was supposed to win it his senior year, and then he, like, got yeah. slammed on his Wait, head or I think something. I, we talked to him at mid, the Midwest... Mid-States. Mid-States. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah he's huge. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> he was, big. He was huge in high school, and then he put on, like, 100 more pounds. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, gosh. he's massive. A lot of football guys are huge, though. I see him walking around, like, I thought I was kind of going. <laughs> I was like, what? Jeez. You you have any like of those athletes like in your classes or like you see them walking around? A couple of football. I have one of the good, really good volleyball players in one of my oh, classes. Really? Yeah, she's like seven foot tall. <laughs> how how was it around campus when the whole volleyball? Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Oh man, big attendance game after. That. <laughs> yeah. uh, did you did you attend? No. 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 That's just a tough situation yeah, to be in. That was a tough situation. I, dude, that blew up everywhere. Yeah. Like, the whole country. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's like crazy. trending on Twitter. Yeah. 
Like, that's crazy. I mean, that was probably one of the best things that ever happened in volleyball program. <laughs> like, if <laughs> they get that much attendance, like, come on. <laughs> like, that. Yeah, they like, start uh, turning comments off and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking about this, or maybe I think this, com- I don't know where this would come up, but could you imagine if, like, guys on, like, a team, no matter if it be football, wrestling, baseball, whatever you got going on, would do something like that and it'd be online? That would be, like, I feel like the pressure or, like, I don't know. What, I feel like it would look way worse for some reason. I think we, I talked about this with someone. Whether it was you or I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting that. <laughs> Maybe I'm just like I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Forget I said that. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Cut that out. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting thoughts you got there, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Nice bark. Good bark. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a uh, girlfriend at all or? You guys asked about the flowers right away. Right? Oh, all, right, all, right, all right, all right. Well, we didn't know if just not official. Trying to change a little. Oh, it's not official. Oh, official. Okay, oh, okay. okay. That's why he's barking at me so much. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah, is she sense. is she here? Yeah. Okay. There's my dog right now. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. W girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, nice. Aye, aye. Well, I think we got a yeah, shoe shop. Shoe shop. We got a little gift. Each guest that comes on the podcast. We got a custom Clash of Combat oh, man. printed off, and it com- <laughs> comes with a stand too. This is all from Brady oh, Shoe in the Shoe Shop. This is his work, so let's go. Um, it's the real deal. Oh, this thing's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Wow. Oh, that's so, cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Of yeah. Do you have any like closing remarks? Any like words of wisdom for the kids out there? Or? Um. Yeah, just you know, if you're get right getting into wrestling or you're early on wrestling keep going you know it's it's tough but you know it gets better as you go on you learn you learn uh you learn kind of your way and kind of how to navigate your way through the practices through everything you know it's it is tough just keep keep pushing on forward and you know have fun with it it goes by fast i know i i remember being a kid wrestler like it like it was yesterday all the memories and stuff but you know it's awesome and yeah just just keep pushing through it Perfect. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's yeah, been fun. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys.